Today I'm reviewing the QNAP QSW-2104-2 S and T. These are 10 gigabit capable switches with two 10 gigabit interfaces and four 2.5 gigabit interfaces. The difference between the S and the T model are that the S model presents the 10 gigabit interfaces as SFP plus and the T model presents them as twisted pair. This is a great combination of ports where Usually the high speed ports will be connected one to your NAS, one to your high performance workstation, and then the 2.5 gigabit ports are connected perhaps to a lower speed workstation, your printer, the Wi-Fi, and your internet connection. Conveniently, the switch is really small at 18 centimeters by 15 centimeters by three centimeters, or if you're from one of the three countries that uses the Imperial system, it's this big. For power consumption at idle, it uses 4.6 watts with nothing plugged in, and with all the ports connected, it was using 8.5 watts continuous, which is 75 kilowatt hours per year. So if you're paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour, it will only cost you $22 a year to run. Moving on to boot up time, and I'm measuring from power on to first ping. I'm going to fast forward this bit here so you can see, and there it is, almost exactly 17 seconds, which is pretty quick. Now this switch is completely unmanaged, and that means that you can't have VLANs, you can't enable and disable individual ports, and you can't reboot it remotely. The upside of that is that it's very easy to support this switch. The only troubleshooting you would ever need to do is to reboot it. Finally, let's talk about price. The T version is available from Amazon for $149, and the S version is available for $129. Only buy the S version if you need SFP Plus modules, because those modules have an additional cost. I've owned both of these switches for several months now and haven't had a single issue with them. Basically, I would say these are the perfect switch for someone who's looking for an entry level upgrade to 10 gigabit in the home. And because of that, I'll put a couple of links in the description to Amazon so that you can buy them if you're interested. Thanks for watching.